Welcome back to Allison Customs Project Car TV. I'm Jeff Allison, and thank you for watching. Well, welcome back, guys. Uh, today I'm working on my forklift. Um, thought I had a uh, wheel cylinder that was leaking. I stepped on the brakes the other day, and I saw a shot of uh, uh, brake fluid shoot up at me. And in the process of uh, taking it apart, looking for the lead, I realized it wasn't the brake cylinder, although everything's pretty uh, filthy in here. Um, it turns out it was actually the brake line uh, had a hole in it from the tire rubbing on it or somewhere. And uh, so we got a new brake line to replace that. Also found that the front shoe was completely down to metal. Whereas the back shoe still had some pretty good meat on it. So even though this is a 1952 to 54, we're not sure on the year. Uh, some are built between 52 and 54. Um, I was able to find a couple of brake shoes without having to have mine relined. And so I'm going to get those replaced, get the brake line on, and put this side back together, and then take the other side apart and replace uh, it. looked like one brake shoe on that side, too, the leading shoe again. So I'll get all that stuff replaced and fixed, and um, then I think I'm going to try and the radiator uh, cap doesn't seal. The, the neck has got some rust in it, so it doesn't seal, it doesn't build pressure. And so if you run it for more than about 25 or 30 minutes, it begins to heat up. Uh, so I just, for, for as long as I've had it, I just keep adding water. But um, I think I'm going to try to go ahead and see about pulling that radiator out of it as well and get that replaced. Uh, today we're outside working under the carport. So the camera's probably going to shake a little bit as the wind blows here. So I apologize for that. But get to see how, uh, how to fix a forklift, I guess. So enjoy. again guys um, so yesterday I got started on the other side and a buddy of mine showed up and was giving me a hand forgot all about the camera we were both blocking the whole view of everything I was doing yesterday so I'm gonna I've got this side to do I've already got it apart now so it's kind of about where the other one was when I started yesterday um, so I've got to put uh, clean, finish cleaning everything up put the shoes on it and uh, I'm going to clean up the wheel cylinder a little bit, put it back together, grease everything, put the wheel back on. Um, try and get you a good view of it today so you can kind of see it's uh, a little different. I'll try and stop and explain a few things as it goes. But uh, it's got some different eccentrics that, uh, that actually set the brake shoe um, tension. So unlike your car, where you, it does have one spring, but unlike your car where you have a tensioner at the bottom that you can adjust the little wire or little wheel, this has a centrix that kick the bottom and then another set that, that stop the top from coming in too far. Um, so anyway, we'll uh, try and show you that as I go along through here. I'm about to start spraying this and cleaning it up. I've got a bunch of parts in a tub of cleaner and uh, I'll see if we can't get through this pretty quick. Okay, guys, well, I uh, I don't know if I, I can't remember now if I filmed it or not. Uh, I took the wheel cylinder apart, and it's just uh, it's an inch and quarter standard cylinder. The cups were all in good shape, so I just cleaned everything up, got the grid out of the inside there. The little uh, plunger parts, uh, got those kind of cleaned up a little bit. And then I was talking to you about some eccentrics, and I don't know how well we'll be able to see this, but... Um, this stud goes in down at the bottom, and there's two of them, one for each shoe. And the shoes have a brass fitting there, that, and they swivel off of that, off of this 
so the part I've got polished up there. And that lobe, just like a cam lobe, is, is an eccentric. And so once you get that in, get everything snugged up, you can use that to adjust the bottom of the shoe out. And then at the top, there's these two other eccentrics, and they adjust. There's a nut on, or a, a, a hex head on the back side, so you can put a wrench or a socket on it. And you can adjust how much the top is, uh, keeps the top from coming in too far. So as your shoes wear, you're supposed to be able to adjust that out to keep just a little bit of tension on there. Everything on both sides of this were basically frozen up. They, they were, weren't adjusting anymore. Um, I don't think the right brake was really doing much of anything. And the left brake, only the front side shoe was actually working. And it was completely wore out. So these had a little more le left on them. Um, but the front shoe definitely gets a little more use. Just uh, don't know why, just that's what it appears. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get that shoe replaced and use the best of the other shoes for the backside and probably never ever, I mean it's a 52 model and I imagine those are the original brake shoes. So um, probably never have to consider putting shoes on it again. Um, and anyway, so I just wanted to show you that, show you what these eccentrics kind of look like. It's real hard to pick that up on the camera, but the stud part is off center. So it's, it's just like a cam lobe um, and it it just allows you to to have some adjustment on the bottom of that shoe so I'll get that uh, get those installed and the shoes clean uh, the one shoe I'm gonna reuse cleaned up and get the other shoe and start putting this thing together Well, there you go guys um, that's how to change the brakes on a uh, 52 53 54 uh, Clark forklift um, all that's left to is adjust it and there's just almost no way I can get a camera back here but I need to adjust those two eccentrics on each side to get these shoes uh, just to where they're just touching and then again at the bottom I need to adjust those eccentrics and tighten the nut down on those so that the bottom of the shoe is is uh, touching so um, while it's still able to spin I'm gonna raise the forks up get back there with uh, a couple of wrenches get everything adjusted on both sides and then put it back down on the ground so thanks again for watching hope that was something interesting for you get some more stuff coming up on the Mustang and the Chevelle um, also looking at a couple other projects that may come in so we'll see if those show up and uh, we'll see thanks for watching Allison Customs Project Car TV like us on Facebook and check us out at allisoncustomsonline.com.